All right, looks like a little bit of stream delay, but are back. Everybody ready? Everybody here? And into Blizzard World. Excited for it. On the left-hand side, it's going to be Revenant coming out. Um, and we'll see what their comp is. Uh, a little bit of troll picks maybe early on, but Void Gamer probably going to Torbjorn here with the defense. Dr. June Moon, a very strong DPS are on the Soldier. You can trace her yet undecided, but we've got Artemis as another DPS here on the Junkrat. A lot of damage coming through as Fatty Derp and Ermagerd Burr will round out the uh, remaining supports. Interestingly enough, Ermagerd Burr was on the Dana DeFito side. The loss in the Challenger tier finals to Crisis Red was the captain of that team. Looked very solid, came into the, the uh, season late, and actually I think finished in the um, third seed. Really strong appearance from them, but now you've got uh, Ermagerd Burr coming in as a support here for Revenant. Um, Artemis, I believe, also a new addition. And as a member of Beats by Lucio, also in the rival tier, we've had an opportunity to scrim this team, and uh, they are very solid. So excited to see what they have for us here. For the attack, it's Hogpin Esports coming out. Ornawan on the Junkrat, looking to get in damage in very quickly. Horrible I am. Um, horrible he is not on the Genji. Coming into DPS here, Fash Stampede, and Okillum, the tank line here. Wakachi and Charisma coming through for the supports. And again, Hawkman Esports, very strong. The only game they lost last season was one they had to forfeit because of player unavailability. So a very strong team and uh, just kind of rolled all the way through to those finals and definitely earned the position there. Looking to defend that title here. We've obviously never had back-to-back -back winners with a fluctuation in this style of league, but Hogpen looking to be the first. It's an aggressive attack coming in from the aforementioned Hogpen Esports, getting kills in early on Fatty Dirt, but Charisma falls. It's support down from both sides. Junkrat swapping blows with Vegan Tracer with maybe a more establishing shot there. Revenant wrapping up this attack early. And uh, yeah, an initial attack that looks pretty solid for Hogpen. They'll have to retreat, I think. Oh no, as I say that, maybe the defense... Oh no, the, the defenders do have enough people here. Looked like they backed off for a second and some of that percentage started to earn, but... Yeah, coming back up and cleaning up very easily thus far. The attackers with the shorter respawn, though, may have a little bit of an advantage. Revenant still with members on the point, but the attack continues to come through. No ultimates for the attack just yet for uh, Hawkman Esports, but Artemis with the rip tire will use it here. Looks for an opportunity to get a little space in the back and picks up a solid double. Like that from him, and uh, yeah, really kind of changing the tide of that for the defenders. Gets a third kill on the feed, but still the attack continues to push. The defenders have members on the point, but they've already given up two ticks. That's a little bit uh, difficult for them. World by M goes in with a good double fatty, and Dr. June Moon both falling, but um, it will or it goes down there via Artemis, who's doing work on this junk rat thus far. Still two ticks gone though for Revenant, or rather for um, Hawkman Esports. 2 minutes and 20 seconds on the clock, and Revenant will have to continue this defense that has been a little bend-don't-break up to this point. Yeah, that may just be the third tick for them, the attack coming in very strongly, and that will be the defenders having to back out. Uh, I'd rather I say that, but 99.1%, they're very, very close to wrapping this up, and uh, again, the defense a little bit further back gave up a lot of that percentage, maybe unnecessarily, but... Um, yeah, nine members falling. That will be the cap for them. Burr in a tough spot will just fall. It'll be the stagger coming through from Hogpen and a good cap. This is not your time. It's been a strong push here from Hogpen Esports so far. We've got a few ultimates to work with and a couple. Uh, rather an ultimate to work with and a few on the way rather the defense has uh, a few here Artemis close to a riptide of his own before falling be his opposite or one Dr. Jumu with the tactical visor and fatty Derp with the transcendence the reds come through to get that junk right back up and now come here comes the tire from the other side use it quickly and is able to take void gamer out of mech but nothing really else coming out of it um, it's going to be a uh, one-on-one tire coming the other direction and is able to uh, take down that mech Ashton P now coming out here but now it's a uh, Dragons or Dragon Blade coming out from Horrible Am looks for those supports. Isn't able to find anything just yet. Armagerber is very agile on the Mercy. He's able to get to safety, and the Dragon Blade kind of falls flat there for the attackers. So looking to get damage in from behind, but the kill on Dr. June will benefit Hogpen Esports. Bird trapped here. A good shield, though, from the uh, Vegan Tracer wins it. That was a very smart play just to protect the Mercy in the trap, prevented those shurikens from coming through. And Burr once again continues to escape. Very sneaky in the back and finding a little bit of safety. The defenders are really just kind of picking apart the attack currently, and. Um, yeah, just kind of splitting them up. You see two caught here at a very tight spot. That's not where you want to be within the vicinity of a junk route. Wakachi in a tough spot. Uh, also, um, it may just make it to safety, but yeah, we'll be able to retreat. So, um, Revenant kind of lost that point. I think a little bit quicker than they probably should have. 
but now defending in the streets phase very well. Ooh, but now Horrible gets a good kill on Artemis, not paying attention, and stop moving for a second, and that's the punishment for um, that lapse of concentration. Now I'll kill him in a tough spot. Also, Void Gamer trying to get onto that Winston, but now the Primal Rage coming out from Beacon Tracer will uh, continue to contest the point for the defense. Against the, again, though, the payload continues to push very close to this checkpoint as the defenders continue to come back in and try and stall as long as possible. It's a self-destruct that gets up a little bit too high, and they're not able to take full advantage. Bird now coming in with the Valkyrie will get Beacon Tracer back on his feet and try and keep the rest of the team alive to try and contest this as long as possible. The 101 Tire looking for a little bit of space, hasn't found anything just yet, but goes back to spawn to see if there's anything over there worth mentioning. Dr. June Moon aware of it though and will shut it down. Once again, the Diva Bomb falls flat 0.37 meters away for Hogpin Esports. The defenders continue to contest this point. Beacon Tracer still here. We'll get pushed away though, and that may be just the push they needed. There it is, just to get the payload through to that second section. Now coming into the final point here. Dr. June Moon trying to escape. We'll get caught by Horrible I Am. And in a very good position are Hogpin Esports. My ultimate is ready. Both support ultimates for the attack, Hog Pen plus that Dragon Blade. Kill him close to a Primal Rage as well. For the defense, Fatty Derp with the 50% um, away to a Transcendence. I'm sorry, Artemis close to a Rib Tire. Dr. Jumu with the Tactical Visor. So the defenders, I think, a little bit disadvantaged just on paper, but they do have a shorter respawn, so uh, maybe it won't be too detrimental not to have you know, as many ultimates as maybe they would have liked. Really taking the fight now to the attack, but not really committed to it. As now Horrible goes in and finds a few in the back with the Dragon Blade. He's able to find Dr. June Moon but, and, but, uh, and Ermagerd Burr. That's a good double for him, but Artemis is able to get one back the other direction. Wakachi rezzing Ornuan. Getting back in, has the Rip Tire and could use it, but now right in the thick of things, using some of these bombs to try and uh, just spread the damage around. Three ultimates again for the defense. Uh, Revenant and... Yeah, still looking pretty good, but here comes the Rip Tire from Ornuan. Waits, waits, tries to throw off the trail from the defense to look and see if they can focus down that tire. And once again, Dr. June Moon, uh, very accurate, finding the tire and eliminating the threat before it got into any kind of good spot. Kill still swapping either side, but the payload continues to move forward. It's going to be a self destruct coming out in Void Game it with a fantastic, uh, looks like a double there. Vash didn't beat able to answer one back, but Wakashi gets the res on one uh, fell the other way. Transcendence coming out from Fatty Drip just to keep the defenders on their feet. This is the last second contest of them. 1 minute and 17 seconds. They need to try and get some of these kills through. Void Gamer and Beacon Tracer both getting kills, but now the Valkyrie coming out from Burr means both support ultimates completely gone. It's going to be the attack retreating. Um, they're close to a couple ultimates, which could be helpful in this next fight, but definitely not having the two support ultimates for the defense will be difficult uh, for Revenant to contend with. Here comes the tire from Order One, looking for some space in the back. It's been successful. Uh, Dr. Jumu's been able to take it down, but now down via O'Kill him, and the tire's able to come through onto Artemis. Kill's really going the way of Hawkman Esports. They continue to push the payload. It's going to be a horrible I am Dragon Blade looking for a couple. Is able to find June Moon, but the res is coming through from Wakachi. A little bit helpful. Finds Void Gamer as well with the self destruct from that Diva, who just recently res will clear out a couple. Doesn't matter regardless. That is a cap for Hawkman Esports. So uh, again, a strong attack here from Hogpin, but only 21 seconds on the clock. Revenant was able to kind of delay them for as long as possible, and uh, we're finally able to, uh, or finally got rolled over. Um, I guess rolled is probably the wrong term. They weren't really rolled in that match, but or that round, but um, finally able to push all the way through was Hogpin, and they'll take a lot of positives from being able to cap the point. 
Revenant now on their attack, looking to come out aggressively. It's Artemis pivoting on that DPS to Afera. Uh, Fatty Derb now switching to Moira. Burst still on the Mercy. And I uh, gotta call out Bird for a very solid Mercy play there. Able to stay evasive. Getting an essential reses. Uh, Waka Chi on the other side playing the Mercy for Hogpen. Doing the same. Able to really create some... Um, uh, kind of turn the tide of some of those fights for their teams. Charisma now switching to the Mercy for Hogpen. A little bit of a new look for them. Just slightly. As Waka Chi goes to the Zenyatta. Dr. Jr. and switching off Soldier for Revenant to the McCree. And that Void Gamer still on the D.Va. Back to go around this lower attacking left. Coming up to the point. You can kind of see the silhouettes of Hogpen Esports and uh, opting not for the high ground. Instead, they will hold on the point directly. Good steel trap there will signal their approach and uh, Hogpen prepares for it. The dive comes in from Vegan Tracer trying to uh, disrupt a little bit, create some damage, but maybe not enough just yet. The rest of the team kind of going around the other direction. Bastion beat about half health and will need a little bit of uh, help from the supports. May just find it here, but now Charisma, the one in Vegan Tracer's gaze, gets a little bit of help from Ornawan though, pushing that Winston back. And But already <laughs> Revenant getting the kills they need. That's three for them, four now, and attacking very strongly. It's only one going back the other direction for Hogpen Esports, and Revenant should be able to cap this within the first 60 seconds. Oh, impressive. What a push from Revenant, just cleaning up uh, pretty comprehensively, and um, yeah, just a methodical push coming through, and uh, very decisive. Just initiated when they needed to, clean up the kills, and there you have it. Five minutes and 19 seconds on the clock for them. And we saw a staunch defense coming out from uh, Revenant, and it really took... Hogpen a few times to break it down, but uh, finally able to do so. Revenant, not so much, breaking through very quickly, and they've already gone to the payload section. Five minutes on the clock. Artemis now with a rocket barrage, looking for an opportunity to again disrupt the defense, and uh, oh, interesting time to use it though, and may have been a fat thing. A little bit panicked, didn't expect the dive coming from Killen, but that is an unfortunate loss for Revenant not having that rocket barrage. The Deadeye still from Dr. June Moon, another ultimate available for them, but maybe Artemis was looking to switch off the fair to begin with. Um, yeah, Order One going from the Junkrat to a Soldier could make it difficult for Artemis on the fair. Decides to go Tracer, good pivots from them, but Bash will take out that McCree. Hogpen now wrapping up. I like the back and forth, the punch, counter punch coming through. Now it's Dr. June Moon getting good res, or uh, Bird getting a res on Dr. June Moon. That's exactly what I'm talking about. These Mercies able to get into good positions to res the team. And uh, essential loss for them, completely negated by the res. And uh, the Revenant have an opportunity to continue pushing without wasting too much time. Still not quite committing, maybe diving into the middle of this push as they come up the stairs, finds a target and goes after June Moon, who will have to escape, but is very low, does not get to the health back, the self-destruct coming out from, uh, I believe that's Void Gamer, doesn't quite connect, and that's a little bit of a loss for them, but maybe she needed the, the uh, mech back. Ultimate still here for Hogpen Esports on the attack, they've got three close to another, as Vash is uh, just about to the mech, but they may not need it as the kills start going the way of the team in red. As Burr drops off, looks like that Hogpen are able to clean up this defense. 3 minutes and 25 seconds of Revenant have not been able to push the payload very far. Their point attack, very strong, but that payload push, um, a lot to be desired thus far. They'll regroup and re-engage, but uh, just letting some random shurikens come in through from Horrible I Am. Building that ultimate charge while they collect from spawn. The conscientious of that. 101 able to get a quick pick onto Fatty Derp. Um, but the res coming through once more. Now this one a little bit more difficult because they won't have it in the ensuing engagement. And uh, was the attackers able to kind of force that res a little bit early. Or the defense rather, will force a little early. Now the Valkyrie coming through from Bird though to keep everybody strong. It's a transcendence though from Wakashi on the other side. Just to answer back, the self truck from Vash. Unsuccessful, doesn't really find anybody. They may zone out just a little bit. Doesn't matter anyway, going in for those kills. But it's still... It's really hard to tell, but I think it is Hogpen with the advantage. Payload's still not moving, though. Revenant, I'm just delaying and, and just distracting and stalling for as long as possible. Now the payload starts to finally start moving. Oh, but Revenant still... There we go. Finally able to get a little bit of something going here. Two minutes and 17 seconds for them. They've got 
almost five ultimates, a couple on the other side to be aware of, but um, looks like they're doing pretty well so far. And one more team fight should see them cap the second checkpoint. On coming through, we'll catch Charisma Void Gamer getting one there. Dragon Blade for horrible I am. That's a second one uh, with no kills for him. That's kind of difficult for them to work with. But they do still have ultimates available. Void Gamer and Artemis getting a couple kills here for Revenant. And once again, they continue to push very close. And that will be a cap onto the B checkpoint. Revenant looks very tight. Takes them a second to kind of get settled in somewhat. But uh, able to do so and looking really good. Now looking for the stragglers that may have caught that early spawn. Find, may find a few in the back, but they may get to the safety of their team. Now the ultimates advantage the defenders. They've got a few in, a, uh, in their pocket and a couple on the way, but Artemis close to a pulse bomb that will tie up the amount. That self truck coming through will kind of catch Vegan Tracer inadvertently. He jumped away to try and get away from the bomb, but went directly into the pit. So, uh, job well done, I guess, from the self destruct Payload continues to push here. Revenant doing well in this final section. They've got to be 21 seconds, but they've got an additional two minutes so far. So hopefully they'll be able to find a little bit of space. Just the uh, fight really kind of breaking out. No one really has too much of an advantage, but I like the defense here from Hogpen being really aggressive, forcing out Revenant. Artemis, you'll see in the back, going for the flank to disrupt the attack, kind of attacking from two sides. Maybe sees the support here if he can get the single clip. I'm the only one very aware. Use the pulse bomb regardless. Catches two, and that's a solid double there from Artemis. Good initiation as Vegan Tracer adds another. Both supports down now for Hogpen. And with Diva gone as well, it's starting to look a little bleak. Payload will start to push through the third section. You expect one more team fight before the end. And the only thing on Hogpen's mind is to shut down this attack. Got five ultimates. Definitely advantage in the ult economy. So um, they could be in a good spot, but now it's one of one's uh, tactical visor sees quite a few targets and is trying to clean up, helping with the damage as Wakachi and kill him, get get the kills. That's four down now, five down, four, Revenant and Hogpen came out very strongly. They only needed two ultimates to do so. re-engaging again very quickly Revenant getting the kills in early as Artemis and June Moon both pick up the supports it's a self-destruct from Void Gamer and Horrible tries to answer it back is able to pick up two of his own but still a 4v2 I believe with the shorter respawn the defenders may be in a good spot but the primal rage from Vegan Tracer will take down Bash Horrible falls as well and now it's just kill him able to use his primal rage and trying to stall as long as possible but sorry guys Now we're about 30 seconds. Very tight game between these. And now it's a uh, Revenant that really needs something on the clock when they cap this. So actually, I think since it's less than a minute, it won't be. Uh, they'll each get a minute here. If I'm not mistaken. If they are able to cap. But it's been a good defense from Hogpen. They may be able to clean it up before we even go into those multiple rounds. That would be impressive because Revenant really looked like they were in a good spot. Pulse Bomb coming in from Artemis on the Charisma is crucial. 66% away from a... Um, Oh, you know, they won't even actually be able to make it back. Wow, that was a strong defense from Hogpen. Revenant looked very, very solid up until this point, but weren't quite able to break all the way through in Hogpen Esports, taking up the uh, first win in the series. Very solid there from Artemis. Quite able to tip them over the edge, though, as Hogpen Esports will take that first map. We'll be going to Junkertown next, so Revenant will look to answer back and make that third round of tiebreaker. All that action before we come back.
welcome back to week one of season four in the Overwatch Xbox community. It is a rival tier game between Hogpen Esports and Revenant, a semi-final rematch that saw Hogpen Esports go on to the finals and ultimately win it. Now up 1-0 in week one against Revenant and uh, what looked like, again, a very strong Revenant defense and then subsequent really strong Revenant attack turned into Hogpen able to get the win and just a little bit tighter at that third section um, on the uh, Wizard World payload portion and um, just able to get the win there so impressive from them but now looking ahead to Junkertown a payload map that again we saw kind of uh, Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde from both of these sides where Hogpen were able to get through the payload section they struggled a little bit at the end but got there with the time on the clock Revenant looked very strong until finally getting stalled in that third section so and we'll see if um, either one can turn those positives into a win uh, in this game obviously Hogpen Esports looking to officially win the match with a second win here on Junkertown, but Revenant looking to force, uh, rather than make that third game a tiebreaker with the win here. Like I was saying earlier, we will play all three games regardless, even though it is a best of three series, because if map wins are crucial this season, make sure you are uh, getting as many map wins as possible, even if you do lose those first two. Trying to get that last one can make or uh, break your playoff hopes when we get down to that end of the season. So important to get as many early as you can doesn't look like there'll be any um, swaps for both sides or subs rather but we do need to swap the team so that hogpen will be defending first on junkertown just one second look everybody um, all sorted that'll be right back Right, we are back. Thank you for your patience. Getting into Junkertown. Like I said, we did swap sides, so it's going to be Hogpen Esports on your left here in the blue. Warner Wan getting back to work on that Junkrat. Very successful in uh, Blizzard World. It saw them 2 8 victory there. World Boy Am on the McCree Bash and O'Kill him on the tanks once more, but now Kill him pivoting to that Arisa. Bit of a shield tank. Wagachi on the Zenyatta Charisma. Going Mercy. For the attackers, Void Gamer on the Roadhog. June Moon possibly going Hanzo. Looks like they may be trying to set up a pirate ship. Bit of a, a new look here. We don't often see a Hanzo with this comp, but using it to try and maybe distract them, uh, divert the attention of the defenders, and maybe actually get a good pick here early. And doesn't quite find it, but now Artemis on the Bash and able to get set up very quickly. 34% to an ult, but it takes down that Junkrat. Trying to get the shield set up for the Bastion. I don't think. 
Yeah, it's kind of setting up behind him now, so he could be susceptible to a lot of the damage coming through, but the defender's falling too fast for it to really matter. Horribly able to get one back, though, on Fatty. But um, Hawkman continues to retreat. Yeah, now forced off the payload. It could be difficult yeah, now that the Bastion goes down. It, it's hard to, re to set up that pirate ship again, especially with the uh, high ground loss here. Prevenant um, on, or rather Hawkman, on their defense. Look like they're cleaning up very easily, so... Um, I expect a switch here from the attack. Artem is so close to an ultimate, though, probably will wait to do so until after he uses that tank mode. Order 1 coming through, looking to delay them a little bit longer. The Bastion should actually be his target, but he's got the tire, looking to see if he can get a little bit of damage. They're very much expecting it and take it down quickly. Um, and um, they're just waiting for that to come through. Knew they were looking for the Bastion, but this would be their uh, shot to use this. They may be able to actually use this ultimate to get back set up on the payload, but. Um, if not, we should see a team swap coming through. Here comes the tank mode from Artemis, finds the high ground, good push there from him, and will use it to start putting in some damage early. The defenders aren't, or they're really absorbing a lot of this, they aren't really having too much of a difficulty, and uh, Artemis is able to get a little bit of picks, but um, maybe didn't disrupt as much as he intended to, but it did give them enough space to get back onto the payload, and that is the important thing. Getting healed up really well, and the heal's not quite enough for uh, kill him, and will drop there. Could pull from Void will grab Mercy, not quite able to clean up the job though, but the damage is done and it looks like Revenant will be able to cap the first point. Oh, late, late Valkyrie from Charisma will pay for it. Both supports down now and with the long spawn now that they have, uh, Revenant has capped the point. Um, risky, risky Valkyrie and wasn't able to um, contest it all actually. So difficult there, they don't have that support ultimate, but they sell the Transcendence on the way, but uh, like I said, it's going to be maybe a little bit harder for them with the, uh, the delay from that respawn. A lot of damage coming through for the defenders are able to take down the Beacon Tracer shield, but they aren't capitalizing on that gap, and Artemis still isn't falling. May do it here, though, even with the Valkyrie up from Bird, not quite enough to keep that Bastion alive. And, uh, again, 80% to a tank mode it's difficult like how do you make that call will they switch they do switch there it is even though they were close to that ultimate i like to swap there knowing what needed to be needed to be done uh, knowing rather what needed to be done and uh, not trying to force a comp it wasn't working or rather maybe uh, would have been difficult to set up once more so artemis now switching to the pharaoh i like that swap from them and uh, they'll have to come back in still doing really well three minutes and 22 seconds revenant don't need to be too hasty here they don't really have uh, i say that but they're about to get a couple ultimates um Three for both sides now, but maybe a little bit nose in front are Hogpenny Force with Charisma's Valkyrie very close. Coming back onto the point, Hogpen will give them the space to get set up. Artemis up, being a little sneakier than I think we're used to seeing Ferris, but Ornohan makes him pay for being in a tight space. Now the supercharger coming out from Vegan Tracer is susceptible to a lot of damage, and I think it's going to be the defense cleaning up. Sorry we couldn't get that double from Ornohan on the stream, but um, yeah, just effectively shutting down that attack before they really even got going. More swaps coming through is June Moon, or rather as Void Gamer, I think uh, on D.Va, was on, I think, I believe Roadhog. That uh, goes to a D.Va that we saw on Blizzard World, could be the swap uh, that helps them change shape just slightly and maybe makes them a little bit more mobile. Now it's a Charisma Valkyrie coming through, we'll see if they can get the res on Wakachi, who does have a Transcendence. Now it does go for it and will be able to find it, so I'll get that Zenyatta back in. The kill's still going the way of Hogpen Esports and uh, looks really good for them in this attack. Two minutes left for Revenant. Again, it was a strong first section push for them, but Hawkman really digging in here and preventing them from uh, creating, getting too much further. Bash not taking no for an answer. We'll take down Vegan Tracer. Gets taken out of mech, but we'll retreat to the safety of his team. And yeah, uh, solid diva play there. We can get that mech back quickly, but uh, now actually taken down. Focusing that diva out of mech and Revenant making them pay. It's like Charisma in his spot, that's three down for them, and the payload continues to push. Four ultimates for both sides, and um, maybe a contest coming out. Maybe Orna One, Orna One will try and contest two minutes. 2.57 uh, meters away goes down very quickly, and not enough time for the rest of the team to contest, though. Uh, they'll give up that point. Again, difficult to have the stall coming through on the sixth man. 
Revenant will push a little bit further. Two minutes and 35 seconds are looking pretty good, but again, ultimates on both sides means that they'll have to be economical about how they use them in the next fight. Almost six ultimates now here for uh, the six from both sides. Yeah, it's going to be an all-out brawl. And it, it, like I said, it's, it's going to be important for... Um, you know, you don't want to commit too many ultimates to one fight. You've got to stack them out a little bit, so you've always got them on the back burner. But Ornawan completes all the boosting there coming through. Able to uh, get the tire onto Void Gamer, take him out of mech. June Moon down, and you know there's a, a deep out there somewhere. Fatty Derp down as well. Hogpen looks like they're cleaning up these kills. And this first third section uh, skirmish will go the way of the defense. lot of ultimates again for both teams nothing really coming out just yet but they are using them very sparingly which i like to see so far but still one minute and 23 seconds for revenant or, uh, as they attack they really want to cap this as much as possible after not completing the map on blizzard world so i think it's crucial that they do win this and have something they can really sink their teeth into knowing that even if hogpen do cap they've got multiple rounds that they can go into uh, to try it again so important for them to continue capping this Not a lot coming out of these ultimates so far. One on one following is Dr. June Moon takes him down. Revenant with a little bit of the advantage. Fatty Derp will help them push a little bit harder, but a triple from Horrible Amp will take down three. And that may just shut down the attack once more. Hog Penny Sports with a very solid defense again, shutting down Revenant in a third section like we saw in Blizzard World. Thank you, Ken. Now, now whittled down all the way to 2, 23 seconds. It was 2 minutes and 35 seconds on the clock when Revenant capped this point, and the payload's moved maybe 6 feet since then. Uh, Wakachi able to get a kill on the Vegan Tracer. Once again, kills going the way of the defenders. It's a 6v5. 12 seconds on the clock means Revenant don't really have time to regroup again, and now another one down for them means Hogpen uh, look very solid here. Zelda Struck coming through, but maybe too little too late from uh, Bash Stampede, rather. Or not Fashion Defeat, the uh, Void Gamer, but doesn't quite connect. Now another self destruct coming out from uh, Bash also won't really do much for them, but Wakachi now with a Transcendence, just trying to keep the defenders alive as they clean up the rest of these kills. Void gets out of mech, and the overtime meter begging to take down as soon as the attack loses a little bit of representation. So got a couple here as the Valkyrie from Bird keeps everybody up. Derp now on the high ground means they've got a few more people available, but Beacon Tracer caught in a trap. Yeah, it's just, it's just squishy slept. Still trying to come through as quickly as possible. Bird goes for a very risky res and does not quite able to get it off. Uh, Hawkman Esports will wrap up round one. And a solid defense in the third section sees them with a win in their sights. So, to the best of my knowledge, this motorcycle doesn't reset, which means Revenant didn't destroy it on their turn. I think. I don't know. Oh, guys, uh, a couple announcements. While we're in the middle of this Junkertown battle, while the team comps shape up Retribution Tournament coming at the end of this month, April 25th through the 29th, grab three of your friends. Get a four stack, no uh, SR restrictions, and run Retribution on Expert. You've got two chances to set your score, and then you um, have an additional three rounds you can run if you want to improve on that score. And best time uh, takes all the marbles, so it should be a lot of fun. Definitely get signed up for that. It's on the website, oxcgaming.com slash retribution, and we'll get you all squared away. If you have any questions, get in the Discord channel. Links again on the website, and uh, we'll get those answered for you community is generally pretty quick to respond so uh, whatever you need again we're working on getting the website completely updated for season four i know it's been a little bit uh, slow so sorry about that but we do have these schedules for all tiers on the website you can go and check that out along with um all the week one games as they get scheduled so make sure you get on the website for all that information we'll have rosters up 
hopefully this week and i think uh, standings after the week one games have been completed will be posted as well so make sure you keep an eyeball on that got a lot of good content coming it's a dive comp for hogpen esports not even worrying about the pirate ship and now a flank from horrible am on the doomfist love it so far but gets focused down pretty quickly not quite able to get any kills down to eight health and will fall that's dr g moon getting the better of that dpser and now going at uh, tracer Doomfist, Diva Winston, Mercy, Lucio are the attackers. Hogpen Esports looking for the win here on the second map in Junkertown. Week 1, Season 4 of the Overwatch Xbox community. Forced to retreat a little bit, but will engage here very shortly. A couple changes coming through. We'll see what works. For the defense, looks like they've got Void Gamer on the Roadhog. Dr. June Moon here on the Soldier. At Beacon Tracer going Arissa, Artemis again on the uh, Junkrat, Fatty Derp, Hermit Group Burr. Rounding out those supports. That's a solid Zen Mercy combo. Payload continues to push underneath this bridge section. The damage coming in from the top. Fatty Drip the only one to suffer though as Hogpen continues to get the kills. Orna one uh, going in on that tracer as Kilm swings big with the Reinhardt. He's get, still getting the kills he need as Artemis answers one back able to take down Charisma but Orna one right now is popping off on the tracer using a false bomb. Just take down Dr. June Moon. Charisma gets back in the fight and it's six men for Hogpen. Pull from Void Gamer will stop Orna one in his tracks. Also taking Vash Tempeed out of mech gonna be Dr. Jun Moon cleaning up that pilot but um, may not matter. Most of the defense is completely behind the payload. The attack continues to push but now they don't have the numbers. It's Void coming through with the <laughs> whole hog and uh, yeah kill him taken completely over the side now in a tough spot. It will fall immediately. Charisma in the back as well may not be able to regroup and Revenant able to shut down that attack but I don't think I've seen a Reinhardt charge into a uh, whole hog like that completely. Just probably got 75 feet in the air. So we get an initial attack from Hogpen, very strong, but Revenant finally able to bolster a little bit and shut them down with a good use of ultimates. They are also leading the ultimate economy. They've got three right now. Two Hogpens, two. Close to a couple more, though, with Charisma and Okillum right in the vicinity. It's going to be a self-destruct coming out. We'll catch a good double Vash Impede, able to uh, kind of shut down or uh, continue this attack for Hogpen Esports. It's going to be a Shatter now coming out from Killam to try and catch a couple and the members of Revenant kind of falling before your very eyes. Beacon Tracer and Void Gamer both down. Payload continues to push five strong. Bird comes back in to try a last second contest. Won't quite pan out. I think they'll grab Void before he gets back to the rest of the team. Ooh, actually looks like he may be able to get to safety. Yeah, they won't pursue him. That's probably smart. That Roadhog will escape just by the hair of his chinny chin chin. And three ultimates, though, for <laughs> Revenant, the defenders. That uh, means, or I guess, three for the attack as well. They've got Horrible Items Tactical Vision on the way as well, so maybe not as disadvantaged as I might have thought. Orn Juan with a last gasp recall to get away from the hook from Void Gamer could have been caught in a tough spot, but that didn't happen. And they continue to push underneath this bridge, or this uh, second section, rather. Three minutes and 23 seconds on the clock for Hogpen Esports, knowing that, again, they don't have to cap the map. They just have to get to that yellow rectangle. I guess it's technically a, a Pentagon, huh? One on one waiting, waiting, waiting. Has all uh, re uh, rather um, has all of the cooldowns, but still just sitting in the back here. Doesn't want to disrupt the trap, but now will they know that he's behind? Here comes the pulse bomb on Vegan Tracer and does connect. Goes in for Burr, who may try that res, but in and around the shields in a tough spot. Nice little navigation there. May actually be able to get him back up. Now won't quite happen. Burr is still alive though. And uh, this is shocking. Bert gets away from this. I'm, I'm going to be legitimately surprised. That is outrageous. God, what evasiveness from the Mercy. The uh, Pulse Bomb going off. Tracer in his sights, but didn't quite pan out. Now it's going to be another pull from Fatty, from uh, Void Gamer, rather, onto Orna One to take down that Tracer, plus the uh, Whole Hog. Coming through the Shadow will get caught, but continues to keep fighting. Kill him here, make it collapse on the, the Supercharger coming out from Vegan Tracer and the Coalescence from. Uh, I believe that's Fatty Derp. Will uh, probably be just enough to do it for them. Round out the rest of this fight. Good pull here from Horrible. Catches him and <laughs> good pull right in the face. And we'll take him down. Still two ultimates though for Hogpen on their attack. But Revenant looking strong in their defense here. Under two minutes now. They still have to cap the point and get a little bit further. Revenant's defense looking solid.
Payload continues to retreat as Hogplant can't really find a way forward. Revenant have the high ground and a lot of damage coming through will prevent Hogplant from attacking maybe as strongly as they'd like. Now they finally do get to the payload, it's going to be Wakachi using the Valkyrie to help initiate in this team fight along with the Vash Stampede self struck Comes in over the top, does not quite connect, but now it's two ultimates down for Hogpen Esports. Revenant with a few building though coming in the other direction, it's going to be an Artemis Riptire looking to get a little bit of damage through. Hasn't found his prey just yet, but uh, yeah, won't even get the damage through on kill. It's a Fire Strike to take down that uh, Riptire and a back cap. From Hogman East Force, very impressive. Just the old bait and switch. Getting some of the kills they needed, but also just diverting the attention of the defenders to cap that point in a solid attack from the defending champions. Kill him a dirty double with that fire strike. Able to take down the tire, then the uh, uh, Batty Derp on, or rather, Emmerich Burr on the Mercy. Continuing to push 2.15 meters away, very close to be able to round out this point and take the win. Hogpen with the members. Fatty Derp trying to come back in, but it's just supports for Revenant. It may not work out for them, but Emmerich Burr again, just one of the most evasive mercies I've ever seen, but finally in the end does get shut down. Dune Moon in the back can only watch as the payload goes all the way through Hogpen Esports with the win in week one. Fantastic triple there, coming through and getting the kills, but uh, yeah, Hogpen Esports looking very solid again. Getting the second win here, they will take the week one win. Revenant trying to take something away from this game and get the win on Horizon Lunar Colony. I'll have that action for you when we come back. Welcome back. Congratulations to Hawkman Esports for taking their first win of the season. 
beginning the uh, season four, like they ended season three on top here with a 1-0, or with, rather with a win over Revenant. Still winning this game two to nothing, but uh, we will play this third map. Again, map points all uh, pretty crucial in this season. So important that we're trying to get back in here. Uh, Hog pen. So, uh, like I said, strong, strong from that. Very um, solid coming in. Obviously doing a lot of work in the offseason and um, making it count. Getting a week one win. This is the second of a doubleheader. If you missed the first game, the challenger tier game between Sombers Tech Support and No Mercy. Definitely one to watch. Uh, Sombers Tech Support, also a defending champion, kind of. A few members there uh, that took the challenger tier uh, last season and uh, coming out very strongly. You can go check out that game on the... Uh, uh, Twitch channel tab over should be available for you. There will be a couple subs coming through. Let's see who's playing where. It looks like uh, the platoon's just about ready. Again, set maps this season, so uh, all teams and all tiers will play Wizard World, then Junkertown, then Horizon. Um, the full schedule of maps, again, will be on the website. We'll have that for you. Um, but it is in the information hub if you are on our Discord, so you have you can see it there. If you're curious, the map pools will get better, we promise. Kind of in order, but this first season, or the first week, rather, we want to be able to get Blizzard World in, and that's uh, kind of the way the chips fell, so... Gonna be Artemis coming out now who's played really well up to this point for Revenant I'm um, obviously not quite able to get the win for the team but uh, playing really solid now coming out for Rich Buffalo new coming in and it's gonna be Manny SR coming in for Hogpen Esports uh, replacing I believe that is I'm not sure who lost there Now Manny SR14, a uh, member of this team last season as well, coming in. And actually, uh, take that back, Artemis will stay in Vegan Tracer coming out. Bit of a pivot there. And we'll see what Rich Buffalo plays. I'm not familiar with that player, but Vegan Tracer, I think a tank player. As Artemis comes out as a DP, or coming back in as a DPS, so maybe it is a Rich Buffalo tank flex. I think they are just about ready, so without further ado, we'll get you to Horizon Luna Colony. Starting out here on Horizon Luna Colony. We saw Hogpen struggle to take the first point on Blizzard World and Revenant take it, I believe, in the first 60 seconds. So we see if that happens here again. Hogpen defending first, so Revenant looking for a strong attack, taking first points at first two points, and then maybe shutting down on the defense to take this map win. But not if Hogpen have anything to say about it again coming out and maybe looking uh, a side second best at times in this game. But able to get the wins, I think obviously they're comprehensively their whole um, kind of strategy and performance has been very solid. But there's been times when Revenant has looked the stronger side and just not been able to close the door. So I'm um, strong from Hogpen. I like to see them coming back out. Man here on your screen is the sub coming in. It's DPS are here, so it's going to be Artemis flexing over to the tank now on Zarya. <laughs> what am I talking about? 
Minion for uh, Hog Fan. Sorry about that. And it's going to be uh, Artemis, like I said, switching over to. The Rich Buffalo is still in tank. So now they're quad tanking. Maybe that's just the structure they wanted to go with for um, this point. The quad tank very prominent now with Moira Lucio and uh, Burst switching to the Moira off Mercy for the first time in this game. Kill him, getting an early kill onto Rich Buffalo. The defense doing well already. A rip tire for Horrible uses it here, tries to find a couple in some space, and will find Burr in the back. Kills going the way of the defense early as Hawkpunt cleans up these Revenant attackers, and they will win this first engagement. 45 seconds on the clock, and the red team will have to regroup. Uh, it looks like um, a few ultimates here, three for the uh, current attackers, a few more on the way though, they'll have, uh, they'll really want to take as much as they can out of this game, but nothing on the uh, control point for them so far. Wakachi will take down Fatty, and once again they continue to stagger as the kills come through, they'll try and back off once more, but the damage still prevalent here from the, the uh, defense. in a tough spot getting caught out there once again hogpen just continuing to get one two kills here and there to completely separate the team now a tire comes through with take down june moon and while horrible does fall i still think the advantage goes the way of the defenders hogpen doing well as now the transcendence comes out here from wagaji to try and uh, continue keeping the d defenders strong but uh, kills go in the way of hogpen esports over 10 meters starts to tick down and that uh, goes pretty quickly that's gonna be a full hold for hogpen esports and in a very good position to 3 this map Now, uh, coming out to the um, final round of this game, Hawkman Esports, again, looking very solid, the defending champions, and uh, showing why they deserved it. 
came out undefeated in last season. Like I said, they only lost. The only game they lost was a uh, a forfeit win. Just didn't have the players available. So um, looked very strong in the previous map on the previous season and uh, looking very strong here again. They will triple tank. Horrible ammo on the Genji, bit of a flex, but a predominant triple tank there. The Reaper coming out, like we saw in the Challenger tier game between Sombra's tech support and No Mercy. That Reaper probably will be pretty prevalent now with the quad tank, especially with those changes coming through, the buffs on that DPSer. A lot of damage from the Defender's Revenant with Junkrat and Reaper. Plus the Discords could be a very difficult hill for Hard Pen to climb, but they know that they can be loose about this one. They've got the win already. 2-0 here after the uh, win on Blizzard World. 3-2 and the win on um, Jumper Down, also 3-2. Very tight games, but just uh, Hogpen with a slight advantage. Now coming through the lower attacking right, looking to get onto the point quickly. They only need a tick to win this game and uh, want to make quick work. But Revan again with all that damage coming through, just waiting, allowing the uh, Hogpen attack to come into point before they collapse on them. But now the contention really starts to break out. The kill's going the way of Revan, just like you'd expect. Fatty Derp, June Moon cleaning up the kills, lighting up for Revenant. A strong initial defense from them. And uh, yeah, here we go. Just do it another five times. And they've got an opportunity to get a draw to this game. Yeah, just comprehensive. I like how they waited on the point a little bit. They're defending the point like we saw Hogpen do, but sitting back a little bit further, just, just tempting, kind of baiting Hogpen onto, and it really Hogpen has nowhere to go but onto the point. That's their whole objective. Um, but with the advantage of being able to sit back and allow that pressure to come through, Revenant can then use their damage dealers, Dr. June Moon and Artemis, to uh, shut down the attack. You see June Moon here with a Riptire already, and you expect him to use that um, to disrupt Hogpen as they come into point for this next engagement. Coming from two sides now, bit of a split comp here from Hogpen. Could pay off for them though if they collapse onto the on uh, the defense. June Moon again with the Riptire. I'm surprised it hasn't been used yet, but maybe just looking for some confusion to capitalize. The Riptire coming through, not quite there. Now June Moon comes out with the Riptire. Haven't found anything just yet. The kill still going the way of Revenant. Yeah, there's a three right there. Looks very solid. Artemis will put some of the icing on the cake, but I think that Death Blossom was a little enthusiastic. I think the fight was won for them, but still used it. So they won't have, yeah, oof, man. Four ultimates down, four revenant. They've just got the bridge buffalo. Earth shatter. Boy, gamer close to a graviton, but um, ultimates building for the attackers. And again, they only need a single point. Two minutes off the clock, though. Halfway there for revenant to try and get a draw from this. But Hogpen will want to take the 3 0 and kind of make a statement to the rest of the rival tier in week one. Ooh, there comes the Graviton. May catch a couple, but now the Shadow coming through from Rich Buffalo will distract Kill him from really being able to get through. They're able to deal with the self destruct as well. Good turn there from the Reinhardt to protect the rest of his team, or rather protect himself. Now the swinging coming through from Kill him. Hawkman has a little bit of space on the point, but the Ermagard of Mercy doing a really good job of keeping his tank up. Doesn't matter anyway, it's going to be the kills going the way of Revenant once more, and Wakachi able to get the res back on Horrible, who can then take out June Moon, but. And gets trapped, and I think Artemis will be able to take down that Genji. Once more, Revenant clean up the defense. Or rather, clean up the attackers on defense. And it's 60 seconds on the clock to a draw. 60 seconds remaining. Hey. Now coming back onto the point, it's uh, Manny here for Hogpen on the Tracer. Maybe a new look comp. They'll take down Fatty Grip in the back, and that's a huge pick for them. Now it's a 65 as the attack comes into point. But a Graviton from Void Gamer might just shut them down before they come through. They used a Shatter to prevent a lot of that damage, but it looked pretty solid here from Revenant. Oof, yeah, but now it's Buffalo overextended a little bit. The defense will capitalize, and now they've got the members as Charisma gets back into the fold. Artemis now with the Death Blossom, though, will completely shut it down. That was a very solid ultimate from that Reaper. Again, time running out here. Very close to capping the point though, Hawkman almost there, but Revenant still holding on by the skin of their teeth. Yeah, it looks like it is just Burr on the point, Moon, June Moon will fall, it's Void Gamer trying to stay as long as possible. 
now we are into the overtime. It's horrible. I am with the Dragon Blade looking to clean up the rest of these defenders and cap the point for Hawkman. They're a pixel away and just waiting for the re final rem remaining members of Revenant to drop off. That will do it. It's a 3-0 win for Hawkman Esports in week one. Jin Moon solid here, able to get the damage in for Revenant, but uh, yeah, once again, not quite able to get them over the line. Hawkman Esports just a little too powerful and um, really getting the job done. Very solid. We'll get some uh, post game thoughts. Um, and look ahead to week two, we come back. <laughs> 